will take a look at an important paradigm in modern programming, functional programming. Functional programming is based on composing pure functions while avoiding shared state, mutable data and side effects. Let's start by looking into what a function is. And we'll begin with an example from real life. Think of an ice cream maker. It takes some ingredients, like milk and strawberries, and it makes an ice cream out of them. We don't know exactly how it works, but we don't need to know. What we're interested in here is that it takes some ingredients and it produces ice cream as an end result. Depending on the ingredients we add, the flavor will be different. For example, if we put chocolate in, we will get a chocolate ice cream. But the machine will still perform the same operation and the end result will be ice cream every time. That is basically how functions work. We give the function some data, it performs specific, predefined operations on it and returns the result of these operations. What are pure functions then? Well, if I put milk and vanilla in the ice cream machine, I will get a vanilla ice cream. There is no way I could get a chocolate or strawberry ice cream. So, no matter how many times I put vanilla in my machine, I will never ever get anything different from a vanilla ice cream. That is the concept of pure functions. They return the same result no matter how many times we input the same data. Functional programs are sequences of data transformations through functions. In pure functional programming, functions and programs don't have state, which means that functions do not hold shared data. They only access their input arguments and return a certain output. Instead of describing an algorithm of how to do something step by step, functional developers describe the result by functions and compositions of functions. The program state flows through pure functions where one function passes output data as input to another function. We already saw that pure functions return a value which depends solely on their input without side effects. Therefore, using pure functional programming is often impractical. Modern languages use elements of functional programming and are not purely functional. Let's see some examples of pure functions. Like the square root function, which receives a number as input and returns another number as output, the square root of the input number. Another example is the sort function, which takes a list as input and returns a new sorted list. Both functions have no side effects. They don't change anything, they don't read or write external data. Pure functions are the heart of functional programming and using them means maintaining consistent results. If you invoke a pure function many times with the same input data, it will have the same consistent behavior and will return the same result, because it has no state and no interaction with external data or components. Pure functions produce predictable results and behavior. Sometimes their correctness can be mathematically proven, this is the most important principle in functional programming. Building a program by a composition of stateless pure functions without side effects. There are many functional programming languages and there are also such that incorporate functional programs into modern software development. Most modern programming languages are not functional. Purely functional languages are impractical and rarely used because it's more complicated to program without maintaining a state. Purely functional developers need to switch their thinking style from the traditional one to functional thinking style. The program in the purely functional languages is a pure function that calls other pure functions without side effects. An example of purely functional language is Haskell, which is not widely used in practice, but it has great value in learning the functional programming paradigms. Impure functional languages are used more often, because they allow exceptions from the concept of pure functions, which simplifies the work of developers. These languages emphasize on functional style, however, they allow side effects. 
Example of impure functional language is closure, which is not very popular in practical software development. Multi-paradigm languages combine the strengths of both the functional and the algorithmic or imperative world. Most of today's widely used general purpose programming languages are multi-paradigm. They combine multiple programming paradigms like functional programming, declarative programming, object-oriented, component-based, event-driven programming, and many others. Examples of such general-purpose multi-paradigm programming languages are JavaScript, c -sharp, Python, Java, PHP, Swift, and many others. All these languages combine multiple concepts and paradigms for structuring the program to simplify the work of developers and improve their performance and efficiency. This is an example which demonstrates the functional style of programming compared to the traditional imperative or structured programming style. We want to write a c -sharp program to read several numbers, find the biggest among them and print it. To solve this problem in a functional style, we can write the following code. First, we read the input text from the console by invoking a function, console.readLine. Then, we split the result from the previous function, the input text, into space-separated elements, which are strings. Then, we parse each of these input strings to integer numbers using SELECT, which is the mapping function in c -sharp. It receives a sequence of strings and passes each element of the sequence to another function, which is, in this case, int.parse. The result from this function is a sequence of integers. Finally, we find the biggest number from the list of numbers using the max function. Each subsequent step takes as input the result from the previous steps and transforms it into another result. This is the power of functional programming, using a composition of functions to process certain data and obtain certain results. This functional style of writing expressions to build or compute something is very common in modern programming. It can be seen in many programming languages, frameworks and libraries. Now, let's see the equivalent of this program written in imperative style again in c -sharp. This is a piece of code written in a structured programming style or also called a procedural style. It consists of a sequence of commands which take input from variables, calculate a new result and store it in a variable. This is the first command, reading the input text. The next command splits the input text into space separated elements. Then we convert the sequence of input numbers from text to integers. The next command finds the, number, the biggest number of the integers. And finally, the last command prints the result. The imperative style solution is very clear. It consists of a simple sequence of steps, which execute one after another and are easy to read and understand. The functional or decorative style solution uses nested functions and is more complex to read and understand. Some developers prefer the functional style, while others prefer the procedural style. Developers have to understand these coding styles well and choose the best for their current task. I hope this video helped you get an idea of what functional programming is. We take a more detailed look on this programming paradigm in our courses at Software.